We passed the first round of the first class magician selection exam arc and goddamn, the pop off moment was definitely when Frida and, you know, destroyed the barrier. She was analyzing the barrier at the same time of fighting against Denken. And she wiped out Denken so easily too, right? Obviously, you can't compare other magicians with Frida. Maybe you could with, you know, that Seide girl, right? That, uh, sorry, it's, it's a guy. No, it's a girl. It's, apparently, it's a girl that I was thrown off with the voice. But Frida's built different. But to me, my favorite moments of the episode was Denken showing up out of nowhere on these two dudes that are down for the count. Ominous music starts playing. Bro just standing there menacingly. And he just walks up, takes his clothes off. You're a man, aren't you? Let's fucking fight. Fucking thinking uppercut, but oh, they skipped it. They fucking off screened it. But to me, for some, I just never expected that from a guy like Denkin, right? Bros built them. I hope we get to see more of him in the second stage of the exam. Let's begin today's reaction. Yo, this dude was literally like this. Bro was like, no, I don't see it. I don't see it when Frieden's about to destroy the barrier and the other girl candidate, the other girl first class was like, yo, she's gonna do it. He's like, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And he turns around. He's like, oh shit, she's actually doing it right now. He had so much cope, dude. Ooh. We have not seen any of these characters, so I guess they can be kind of hyped up. They're the first party to clear it? On method lung. Okay. So this is a bald, bald. But this is a uh, two parties that we've seen nothing of, which is kind of smart, I guess, so that they can show us like you know scenes. They, they 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 can they basically hid those characters for the second first stage, right? So in the second stage, we're gonna be like, what are they about? Stark? <laughs> Stark still doing nothing? <laughs> Poor kid, man. I can't believe he just benched through all the half of season one, like second half of season one. He he just. He's doing nothing! What can he do? He's not a magician! He's just sleeping in until like 7 p.m., bro! He's so depressed! Never mind, he's living the fucking dream. Sometimes, when you're at your lowest being unemployed, you know, and you got nothing going on, no school, no work, but you have the leisure of just fucking around at your parents' place maybe, and just like sleeping until 7 p.m., sometimes, you know what? That is like the dream, yeah. It's not so bad. Hmm? Are they back? They're not back already, right? No. Who is it? Oh, they're back! Hello! I guess they get a little rest period before going to the second phase. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. What? She looks so disappointed in us, man. You wanna lecture me? Was he up all night drinking? Hi. <laughs> Bro is just drinking juice. It's not even alcohol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just drank some juice. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. <laughs> Caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Straight bullets. <laughs> and she has that housewife attitude, man. She being so unreasonable. Yeah, will it still be open? Uh, no. Maybe? Hey, isn't that the... Uh, we know this guy, isn't that Richter? Bro was down to kill Lavina and Kane, the girls, the little girls. Bro works here? Daytime, you know, his day job is basically helping old people with random craft and shit like that. And on the side, he goes around fucking killing children. <laughs> okay, Richter, I see you. Uh, that's payment? <laughs> okay, they, they, they know each other. Okay, okay. Denken! Oh, she's got a donut too. You see that? She got a donut too. Frida would love that donut. <laughs> Yo, I wish we got to see the fist fight, please! Yo, she has a basket of donuts! Share them! Where's Frida at? Oh? We're gonna meet at the restaurant. We're both gonna go to the same restaurant. That Okay, I thought that the place that Frida was talking about was Richter's shop, but no, no, no. We might meet at the restaurant. Also, Laufen, you were gonna go to dinner to eat! How are you eating a fucking donut right now? Actually, just a basket of donuts. <laughs> she does feel like the granddaughter. What? We're not friends? 
Ingratiating. What a big word. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. He's weaponizing his dead wife to make, you know, Richter feel bad. This motherfucker. Oh, poor Denkin. No. Denkin knows what he's doing right now. Bro is trauma dumping. That's right. Bro is getting... Richter feels so guilty he has to come with... <laughs> he's fucking weaponizing her. He's like, all right. Okay, okay. You're paying. Uh, oh, that's the cool analyzing guy. Um, he was against Fern's party. You got a soft spot for cats, maybe? Maybe he'll bow down and start saying Nia. Hmm. <laughs> the mom cat was like, fuck off. Oh, right, because he has like fake clones to be extra safe. It's that, it's that murder girl Riz, dude. Some guys might like this treatment, man. Oh, you gotta kill me? All right. No, she doesn't. Unless there's a twist and she actually does, but I doubt it, man. I think something's missing in her brain. The encounter between Weirbell and her. Hmm. Could she really have done it completely without Weirbell doing anything? I, well, they were kind of like sharing backstories too. Maybe she could relate? I'm not sure. Yeah, he was watching everything the entire time. It's the backstory, right? I think she, she's interested in him. Yeah, she can like relate maybe. Weirbell and Yubel ship forming? Wait, 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 he got binded. Was she gonna bind too? I'm being stupid right now? Isn't that Weirbell skill? She knows it too now? Or does she have always copy abilities? I don't think she did. She can copy it? What the fuck? Wait, what? I... I missed something? I'm not sure? I can't use the spells of anyone I can't empathize with, so she can't copy. So I, I, we, I guess we never really knew what her... I never really thought about it, but I guess she never really revealed all her powers last, episode, last time we were fighting, right? Because she was more, more or less just kind of doing like melee attacks or some shit. I can't forget, dude. I forget all these fucking details. Smoking too much of that good shit. But okay, okay. She can basically copy, fix, empathize with someone. Okay. And clones can do anything. Okay. He is pretty interesting. His backstory is not really told. He's very mysterious. Yeah, and he's super analytic. No feelings involved. Just straight cold math. He called you stupid! He called you stupid! <laughs> he called him stupid and I said, I don't even like you as a girl, fuck you! Bro is very mysterious. Alright, we're chilling now. We were about to kill each other, now we're chilling. Are they going to the same restaurant too? What if we all made the same restaurant? The best in town? It's been here for over 80 years? It's called Bell. Best restaurant for over like 80 plus years? 50 for Renkin. Freedom in there, right? Fern, yeah. Hey! Friend! Come sit together! That's a menu? Farron is honestly raised in, in such a strict environment that she feels guilty for even ordering more than one fucking food. Like, she's like, oh, you, you, I can order appetizer? Yo, share the basket of donuts with Frieden. Alright, Denkin's uh, pretty chill. I oh, Omuraisu. I thought Denkin would try to go in and he's just like, alright, we'll just kind of leave him alone. It's pretty chill. Omuraisu. <laughs> Steak! Damn, she liked that meat. She got a sweet tooth on. This is not dinner, girl. You're eating fucking dessert. She got pancakes. She got cake. She got a fucking uh, whatever you even call this thing. <laughs> this is such an... I think of all everybody here, the most balanced, I guess, would be Stark, right? You got healthy. I'm assuming there's rice underneath. You got a, you got a balanced meal of proteins, fats, carbs. But Fudin's like, nah, give me fucking 12 of your prime AAA fucking... Ribeye steaks. 
<laughs> Farron just fucking a child. He's getting dessert for dinner what she wants. Oh, flashback, flashback. She ordered the same fucking thing last time too, dude. 80 years ago. 80 years ago, she ordered the same amount of fucking food. How does that amount of food get in her body, dude? Lecker. The ultimate chef. Okay. He's probably not alive, right? Wait, wait. Himel got the same dish as Stark right there. You see that? The same wood ice, man. そう思って二度と食べられなくなった。ほう。ご安心ください、フリーレン様。まで残すつもりです。いや、あみ、your <laughs> All right. Free didn't really like that line. Free didn't really like that line, man. It's just, I mean, umai. It's the same as before. They fucking switched up the menu, man. Oh, because it's that good. It's gotten way better. I mean, I hope after 80 years they would have figured out something else to make it better. Yeah. Get it for him. Get it for him, Fern. <laughs> she just got it. I mean, she got the omurice too, but... Yo, these two, it's basically grandfather and granddaughter, man. Yeah. Well, they're here too. Everybody is here. Where's Weirbell at? Baron is very happy right now. The way she's walking. Money situation? Uh, do we have money actually? <laughs> we used everything. Bald. 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 What the fuck is this? You've arrived at the essence of martial arts. Is this the same fucking timeline or what? In the past, probably, yeah. Bald. No, it is the present timeline. He has been training. Bald. Fudian's <laughs> like bald. 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 You don't? Baldi is a crazy person that shows up and talks to Stark when he's meditating like he's his sensei. But like, he's not actually... <laughs> he, he straight up... He, this dude straight up just is so bored with his life. He just acts like a sensei. He's like, there's... So... <laughs> <laughs> this this Baldy do the same line every day? Like every day he comes with the Stark here and says, There's nothing I can teach you anymore and walks away. And Stark is like, bro, this is the 39th time you said to me this month. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this is the best fucking Kai character. This is the best NPC, bro. Holy shit, does he have a name? He just disappears into the shadows? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hell. The comedy hit out of nowhere. Bro, literally just a random grandpa. Yeah, like you and Fern too. What happened? Uh, she's mad that we overslept? Yeah, she kind of just like doesn't communicate, huh? She starts pouting like this. What are we, what are we gonna do? Give her some desserts and she'll be happy again. But we got no money, man. Stark, riz her up. Okay, okay let's go eat then. Um, okay. Sure? Sure? <laughs> yeah, I thought we used all our money at the restaurant. Okay, it's Kane. Where's Lavine at? Oh, Weirbel. Weirbel. What does that look? What? Is he scouting for a new teammate? What? Alright. He's just going around looking for the hottest dudes in town. What is he doing? Okay. 
Yo, casual Lavine! She can dress up! This is nice to see Kanye and Lavine in casual clothing, huh? Instead of their, like, you know, adventure gear. Hey, look at that drip, man! She a little bit of a rich girl? <laughs> this is her brothers? <laughs> this is all the Husbando brothers? They just dote on their all fucking sis cons? Three big bros that just want to dress up their little sister. Lavine is rich as fuck, man! And Kane is more like that countryside bumpkin girl, huh? Oh, what the f- What do you- What do you- what do you oh, 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 oh! The Riz! Did it work? <laughs> Remember the human- <laughs> I do like this scene, too. I, I, this is like multiple times. She always gets on the same position and fucking just grabs her pigtails and gets on top of her, which is a little sus, but... You know, the Riz almost worked. If it was Himel, would it have worked? I don't know. That was pretty smooth on Kane, though, man. Kane, Kane just pulled out the fucking Himel, you know, the ring up. Remember the ring flashback where Himel just fucking is like a sunset lighting and he fucking flutters the cape and he fucking walks with the freedom? <laughs> my ring, my lady. That was a pretty cool scene, but okay. They are obviously pushing the Yuri propaganda hard with these two, but hey, I ain't complaining. All right, bakery. Gotta gotta get Fern happy. Gotta feed her food. You want some bread? You want some donuts? Where are the donuts at? Everything. That's kind of scary, actually, when she says it like that. Because if you pick something wrong, she's gonna be mad. What a tough girl to please. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Hello, teammates. <laughs> we got fair and so many bread in her basket. Yeah, it's Lavine and Kane. She is. I guess they know nothing about Frieden, huh? Oh, Stark is surrounded by a bunch of girls. Oh. Oh, Weird Bell's candidate to find a warrior. Stark is probably him then. Oh, wait, what's he gonna do with Stark? As soon as he says, I don't feel so comfortable being surrounded by so much women, two dudes show up and start groping him in the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah? He's packing there? The fuck? Oh, Stark subplot. Stark's been bored. No, this is great. Stark's got nothing else to do. <laughs> Just sends him off to war. Bye. Yeah, even if he was groping his thighs like that. Yeah, I like Weirbel a lot. No, they're pitying you because you guys are so broke and you have no money. True. Freedom, freedom did carry hard. How are those earrings staying on like that? You guys see this? Look at the earrings right here. How the fuck does this red raindrop thing connect to the earring on top here? And then I realize this is an anime about magic, so who cares? Okay, flashback. He's a good guy. <laughs> she turned back for a second bye-bye. Yeah, feels good to help other people. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Like you, Frieden. Will you remember me? He was basically telling Frieden right now, hey, remember me, come on. Yeah, you. Hmm. Lavine and Kanne. They'll remember us now. How nice! We got some friends, man! Just fucking grandma hanging around with a bunch of toddlers, but still, it's nice! Character development! Look at that smile. Look at that grin on Frieden's face. She's a late riser. And she's pouting. Three tests. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, bird. <laughs> I don't know why that bird scene was funny to me. The bird just shows up, knocks on the window. Hey, take your fucking letter. Just fucking throw it. Hey, come on, take that shit. I'm out. Continental Magic Association notification of the second examination for the first class mage. Blah, blah, blah. It's basically three days later. Three days later, it's going to happen. 
Yeah, it's the other girl that was drinking tea with the proctor, Zenze. What reputation does Zenze have? And no one has ever passed? Until now! Oh, epic music. <laughs> She's just eating so much stuff. Yo, she could outcompete Farron in eating donuts, man. These two are somehow getting closer and closer. What the fuck? We don't know anything about this guy either, though, right? No. And we don't know anything about the bald! Bald! <laughs> she caught the bird?! Wait! Wait! This is another girl we haven't seen in the party yet, right? They kind of, they kind of like didn't show her at all in the first exam. But this girl just caught the fucking bird. It's like, give me that shit. Oh, Stark already putting in the word. It's the first class mages again. Is it that hard? Hmm. Who knows what she's about? And that's the episode. Today's episode, I was expecting it to be boring because obviously we're going to take a little bit of a downtime, take a day off, you know, just hang out before we get into the second exam. But I don't know, just the casual interactions between all the participants in the same village, not as enemies, but as, you know, perhaps friends. This is a very sweet episode. We got to see a little bit of a humanizing side from Richter who likes to kill children. He doesn't, but, you know, he was trying to. He did that. You know, Denkin and his granddaughter apparently, since she's not, but, you know, the way that he treats her like that. That was very cute. Weirbel, uh, sorry, um, Ubel and this dude, somehow there's like a ship forming. I don't know. She just wants to be interested. We got to learn about her power. If she can empathize, she can copy magic, which is fucking busted, right? And uh, what, what else happened? We got a little bit of a flashback of, I like, you know, um, you know, Himmel and in Frieden's memories and how the food got better. What else happened? Stark has his own subplot now, huh? Actually, before we get there, this guy, this baldy NPC, I hope he has a name. I hope he returns. I hope there's a moment where Stark does something crazy and then he'll be like, hmm, as expected of my best student and just walks away in the distance. I just love NPC characters like this, man. He might be the funniest character moment in this today's episode. There's some sport, and, and Weirbell's basically trying to find like a warrior to do something some, you know, campaigning in the downtime. And Stark, hey, he's finally got something to do instead of just fucking around, right? It was cool to see, like, Lavini and Kane's, like, a uh, little, I don't know, side story of their backstories as well. Their, uh, the Yuri propaganda is on pretty hard right now, right? And finally, we're getting in to the final exam. Sorry, it's not the final exam. It's the second exam. And there's a lot of characters that we haven't really seen yet, right? Like this guy, this party... Uh, we know her with this girl so they hid them for stage one intentionally so i'm excited to see what they're about in phase two that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care